yeah, very disappointing to lose um, in the manner we did right before the end of the game. I uh, can't fault the players for their attitude and their effort. The, uh, the Gold Cup comes at a very difficult time for the Canadian players because a lot of those are based. Uh, a lot of the players are based in Europe, so the fitness is definitely an issue. Um, I thought that we made it very difficult for ourselves by giving the ball away too easily at times, uh, but I can't fault them for their effort. Are there any questions? Parle français. Parle français. On peut traduire si tu veux. Oui. Actually, sir. I ask you to raise your hand, please. Okay. okay. This gentleman's first. Okay. We'll get you a second. Con, are there any answers? I mean, what what happened? You you mentioned the effort. You said you liked it, but it looked like you guys were losing every ball. You were behind. You were giving the ball away, like you said. Where where did things go wrong? I mean, just answer it, Gavin. Uh, we, we, if you give the ball away at any level of football, you will struggle. Uh, we. We got into some good areas, and our final ball was was not uh, at this level. And uh, you know the guys are. Uh, it's just I'm, I'm a wee bit lost for words here, but you no, know, I think that uh, take nothing away from Martinique. They, uh, I thought they, they did very well. They uh, looked dangerous, but uh, I think we are going through a real transition period. What happened today is uh, is not just because of what's happened over the last week to ten days. This is a, a combination of a lot of different things that have gone on over the years in Canada and uh, it's a massive rebuilding process at the moment and uh, it'll be, be some time before we, be, we get to fix it but uh, you know we will uh, we have to be better in possession of the ball. We have to make better decisions when we're in possession of the ball and uh, show a bit more belief when we go forward. But so much has to do with fitness. It's easy sitting on that side of the uh, the podium when you've never kicked the ball or, or played in this sort of heat when you've been in between seasons. I've done it three times with Canada, maybe four times with the Gold Cup, and you've been absolutely exhausted. And you saw players there today that were absolutely exhausted, dead in their feet, still trying to, to do their best. And it's, uh, it's, uh, I'm not making excuses, but it is where we are at this moment in time. Is there a question? Hold on, hold on one second. Max, if you want to come up and translate this? Sure. Est-ce qu'il a été surpris par l'équipe martiniquaise? Were you surprised by the Martinique team? No, not at all. They, uh, we knew they would be athletic. They knew, we knew that um, they would be a little bit unorganized at times, but they would be able to attack and, uh, and that's exactly what they did. They, uh, I take my hat off to them because they were they were dangerous going forward, and uh, we just maybe collapsed a little bit too deep at times. But that's as a result of fitness levels and so on. Um, but uh, fair play to Martinique; they kept going right to the very end. Uh, just devastated for our guys that we we gave away a, it was a poor clearance and we didn't defend the corner well. Very disappointing, but well done to Martinique. Uh, non, on n'était pas surpris par Martinique. Uh, on savait qu'ils seront très forts en attaque. Uh, on croyait qu'en défense, ils ne seraient pas si organisés. Mais ils, ils ont bien joué en défense. Et, mais nous sommes déçus qu'on qu a perdu le, le but sur le, le corner en fin des matchs comme ça. Here in the front. Kyle McCarthy, Fox Soccer. Colin, how do you pick the guys up? After this, knowing that, that you conceded late, I almost thought you were out of here with the draw and, and going forward into the next game. Yeah, the good thing is we've got a nice easy fixture with Mexico to look forward to. <laughs> um, but I think that, you know, they're, they're, we will think over what's happened today. Uh, we're clearly uh, devastated by giving away the late goal. Uh, but Thursday night in Seattle, we will have some a lot more Canadian fans in the crowd and I'm hoping that I get a chance now to work a little bit more with the team. Um, I'm not expecting miracles by any stretch but I think that uh, you know for, for spells we did well tonight or this afternoon in possession without being too uh, penetrating if you like uh, but we have to be better 
all round against Mexico. We know that it's a difficult game, but if any Canadian player ever needs motivated to play against the top country in CONCACAF, then there's something seriously wrong with them. So I'm hoping just the fact that it's a, a big fixture against Mexico, against a powerhouse in CONCACAF, will be enough motivation to, for the guys to pick themselves up. We will do our best as a staff to, to, uh, to be positive. We'll go through bits and pieces that we didn't do so well today. But we, you know, we can't do anything about what has happened. We now we have to build and be positive going forward uh, to Thursday night. Other questions? I know, obviously, you know, you did concede that late goal, but there were a lot of, of near misses even before that. What kind of concerns do you have, both in goal and with that back four? Um, I thought second half in the line played better. Played a lot more assured in the second half and made some good saves. And uh, it, it, it's clearly a concern when you give uh, chances up, but uh, we're not 89th in the world or wherever we are because we're fantastic at everything we do, Gavin. So it's a, you know, it's a rebuilding process. I mean, we can't expect miracles. You know, it's easy to pick on the negatives all the time. But uh, there were some good performances individually uh, there today. And we'll pick on the positive things rather than focusing all the time on the negatives. And, uh, We'll see what we get on Thursday night. And, um, you know, we had a bad result against Denmark earlier on in the year. We picked ourselves up and, and had a very credible draw against the US. Uh, so we have to now look at, at that sort of reaction, that sort of response from the players. Good. Daniel, question. Is there a player in Martinique that you have remarked? Was there a player that stood out for you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shortest translation. Uh, yeah. um, any other questions before we go?